I think over the last two years, one of the biggest changes is the fact that far more people are recognising that party politics is a vehicle for achieving social change, and that's really exciting. A couple of years ago, we had the, the green surge, and obviously Labour's had a much bigger surge. Um, and, you know, whatever your views are of, of some of the policies, the, the bottom line is that more people are getting involved in the political process, and to me that can only be a good thing. Um, I think it's absolutely vital to engage young people in, in politics. I think maybe even David Cameron, looking back at the uh, EU referendum, might have wished that he'd changed his uh, position on votes for 16 to 18-year-olds, because it's fairly clear that if he had, if 16-year-olds had been able to vote, then the outcome of the EU referendum would have been very different. So we want to see a reduction in the voting age. Um, in the Green Party, we already have a very democratic grassroots way of policy making where young people can be absolutely involved in that right from the very start. The Young Greens have a, a position on our executive. I can't comment on what's happening in the Labour Party, but I imagine similar kinds of processes are involved so that young people can have a bigger voice in the policy making process within Labour as well. And so to me, it's about trusting young people essentially. And I think that if we can demonstrate that we trust young people and want them to be genuinely involved in all of the party political processes, then, then that will be rewarded by, by more young people coming in. Well, I would certainly say to begin with, that of course we are two separate parties with our very separate identities and there are plenty of areas where we don't agree. But everybody knows there are plenty of areas where we don't agree and what interests me more is where can we identify where we do agree and where can we work together, particularly in my view, to try to save my constituents, at least in Brighton, from another 5, 10, 15 years of Tory rule. When I see what this government's been doing just even over the last you know, few months, let alone the last few years, then that is rolling back the welfare state, it is penalising people on benefits, it's absolutely about attacking people with disabilities, it's about ignoring the environment and climate change, the list goes on. And frankly, we don't have time for more and more of that kind of, of politics. So. I think that it's incumbent on, on Labour and Greens, and frankly I'd also include Lib Dems and, and, and Nationalists in that, perhaps controversially, to look at areas where we could agree. And maybe when Jeremy Corbyn says, let's do politics differently, maybe we could hold him to that and say, well, OK, change the electoral system, work with us to do that. Let's make our electoral system one where everyone's voices can be heard. I think on some of the other areas we could find areas of agreement too, whether that be standing up for migrants, whether it be hopefully on some of the urgent action that we need on climate change. So we're separate parties, we will always be separate parties, we are very distinct and we keep our identities, but it seems to me that we are letting our own constituents down mm. if we fight each other for the sake of it, where sometimes if we had a bit more collaboration we could actually save them from the worst of Tory rule.